What's up mga kazig? Welcome to another episode of Product Review Series and for today's episode, we'll be talking about the Adidas Velo Samba Vegan Cycling Shoes. Right off the box, we could already see the iconic design of the Samba but with a little twist. It's armored with a cycling specific hybrid outsole. It has a full length reinforced plate with two bolt click compatibility for efficient pedaling while maintaining that easy walking feel and style. The classic and iconic design of the Sambas will never run out of style plus points for the timeless design of the Velo Samba. It's really stiff, which is what you really want out of a cycling shoe. Stiff outsoles increase pedal efficiency, but it also sacrifices comfort while walking. When we walk, we want our shoes to be flexible, but when we ride, we want it to be stiff, so we can't really have the best of both worlds in one shoe. In terms of performance, the Velo Sambas are geared more towards cycling. The Velo Sambas are true to size and are similar to the sizing of the original Sambas, but it's a really narrow shoe. I have fairly wide feet so I went up a size, but even with an upsize, it's still a bit too snug for my feel. Of course, this depends on each individual, but the Velo Sambas will favor more for those with narrow feet. I love the added little features put onto this shoe, such as the reflective free stripe logo and reflective blinker on the heel. The little strap also comes in handy by securing our laces while riding. The vegan upper is also coated for added water resistance. By the way, I got this on sale at the Adidas official website for only 95 US dollars. So that's around 5,200 pesos. Personally, I won't be using this on long rides and especially not on long walks. But in my opinion, these shoes will stand out on your daily commutes, simple coffee rides, and chill rides out with your friends. If you're looking for a casual and stylish shoe with that added performance for cycling, this is the way to go. But if you want maximum performance while cycling, I would still go for a dedicated cleat shoe. And if you want maximum comfort, I'd still go for a normal shoe that I could ride with and add a pedal strap for foot retention. By the way, shout out to Fixie Straps. These are my go-to pedal straps, so make sure to check them out. The Velo Sambas are not the best of both worlds, but they are something in between. And if you're planning to buy these shoes, just remember that it's really narrow and also the performance in cycling also depends on the clipless pedal system that you're gonna use. It's only compatible with two bolt clip system and I went for the Time Attack XE pedal system. Just so you know, Time is also under the brand of SRAM. Reviews say that this is one of the go-to pedal system to partner with your casual riding shoes for fixed gear enthusiasts. Which is perfect because I'm gonna use these on my fixie. Give me a little time and I'll give you an in-depth review about these pedals and as well as a long-term review on the Adidas Velo Sambas. So, do you have any experience or opinions about this setup? Or are you willing to try it out? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and do yourself a favor and click the subscribe button for more cycling content and product reviews. And lastly, I would like to give a shout out to the following. Shout out to John Eric Noarin, Felihip Sayer, Aljun De Leon, John Carlo Capulong, Benjamin Miranda, JM Hachaso, Harley Anasco, and John Raven Pareño. So that's it for today. Ride safe. Ingat.